According to SLL Lighting Handbook, road lighting is classified into three categories. Hi, my name is Nel Caropo and this is another topic about road lighting design. Okay, so as per the SLL, the road classifications are into three categories which are the traffic routes, the subsidiary roads, and or the lighting for urban centers and public amenity areas. So what are those uh, traffic routes? These are the classification that you can find or you can see in Dialux Evo, which states that it is M3, M4, ME6, or ME5. Yes, yeah, so that is the one. So you can see the motorway is ME1. Strategic route is ME3 to ME2. Main distributor is ME2. Well, it depends now to the speed of the traffic and also um, the access and the carriageway of the road, where you can say if it's ME1 or ME2 or ME4. And you can also have see this under the traffic routes is the secondary distributor, the link road, which states it's ME5. And for the subsidiary road, you can see those uh, code like S2, S3, S1, and so on. And you can also see that one in Dialux Evo, which is here. So for example, if it's a subsidiary road and it says S3, you can see the value it differs now here. So it will become S3 or S2. It depends on the kind of the motor vehicle that has been used in the area. Say for example, uh, lo in a very low crime rate and moderate and high, you can say that it is S1 or S2 or S3. And also the traffic flow. So yeah, those are the values. And for the lighting for urban centers and public amenity areas, now you can see this code CE3, CE2, and CE1. And you can find it here again in Dialux Evo. And it's not part of the road now. If you add, say for example, add a sidewalk here. So you can see here now in the sidewalk, when you press this one, you can see those code like CE4, CE5, CEO, or CE1. It depends on the kind of the sidewalk on this urban centers or urban areas or public amenity areas. So if you're doing some landscaping project with a pathwalk and at the same time with road lighting, you may consider using this CE code on your pathwalk lighting design calculation. So for example, if it's for pedestrian only, then CE3 for a normal traffic flow. And if it's a mixed vehicle and a pedestrian on the same surface, you can uh, say CE1 because it has high traffic flow. So yes, that's how you will select your pathwalk and road lighting in your lighting design calculation. So please do not use the default in this Dialux Evo software or on this Dialux regular. Go and find the standard first based on your requirements because the default is is not correct sometimes when you when you run your lighting design calculation find out what what type of road what type of the pathwalk and is it a heavy heavy flow traffic or not then you can identify what kind of lighting standard to be followed so don't just use the default one I also created another video before about this selection of the maintenance factors in road lighting because again do not use the same default from the last evo select the right maintenance factor here in this sll lighting handbook all right so if you want to know more visit my udemy course road lighting design techniques and you will learn a lot of things in this course all right so see you again on the next video